We have a look under the hood at a study that's generated a lot of buzz for people considering an electric vehicle. Bay Area researchers recently estimated that electric vehicle batteries last far longer than first believed. ABC 7 News meteorologist Drew Tuma shows us the science and how it could help keep us climate ready. Let's go for a ride. On the winding roads around Stanford, we're about to test drive an important discovery. Our wheelman is Professor William Chu from the Slack National Accelerator Laboratory. All right, here we go. Can I give you a jolt? Professor Chu is demonstrating the real-world driving conditions that may help EV batteries last much longer than even the manufacturers estimate. But first, it might help to tap the brakes and take a look at why those battery life projections are so different. To do that, Fellow researcher Alexei Gislin braved the cooling fan noise to take us into a testing lab at the Slack Stanford Battery Center. So here we have a room full of cyclers and environmental chambers to cycle, meaning charging and discharging batteries. And he says the team used this row of small oven door chambers to study how the EV batteries age, but in a new way. Instead of just draining them at a constant rate, they also introduce variables electronic starts and stops that more closely mimic actual driving conditions. So more realistic, uh, representative of real driving, and you can see both the voltage response of the battery and the current are actually very dynamic. Dynamic and surprising. They say the data suggests average EV battery life may be roughly 40% longer than estimated, a result that's the opposite of what the team expected. We were blown away when the result was exactly the opposite that when we use the batteries in a real setting, the lifetime was much longer than expected. Back on the road, Professor Chu demonstrates what they believe is going on. First, the effects of drifting downhill on our winding road. So now we're going downhill, so actually you're now continuously charging the battery. Next, he points out the power that's recovered by the friction of the brake pads, a technology known as regenerative braking. Oh, now we have the brake. Here we go. So now we are recharging the battery, just a tiny bit. The power of red lights, there we go. And they say all those starts and stops add up to more recharging than expected. And for most drivers, longer battery life, potentially saving owners money and making electric vehicles an even more attractive option. So it's not something you can put a dollar amount to it on day one, but if you knew that the battery was gonna last 10 years rather than five years, then that's gonna be a significant driver for adoption and perhaps a smoother and more affordable road ahead for millions of EV owners. At Stanford, Drew Tuma, ABC 7 News.